Welcome to the Robusmo interviews. Today we are talking to Justin Casimir. He is the product coordinator of Robusmo and also personally has a strong interest in agriculture, sustainability and food value chains. If I would be a, a small farmer um, having um, a traditional farm with some cows and uh, maybe sheep or something and it's not going so good right now in those times, Uh, how could I approach Robismo and the project and how could I um, profit from the tools or um, from, the, from the things that you developed? This is exactly the, the, the audience we wanted to approach in the, in the project. So the first thing is to ask yourself, do I want to do some change in my business and are you willing to, to, to do so? Uh, then the second step will be to go on the virtual library and see all these different type of businesses uh, around Europe uh, to see like the diversity, what people can do. Then the next step would be to, to look at the, the other business tool called the transformation support tool. And in this one, you look at, okay, this business model, what, what is required to be successful? Um, and, and this could give you, you know, some kind of feeling, yes or no, go or no go. But then I would strongly advise them to go and, and get in touch with a business advisor. Uh, maybe there's like the Chamber of Agriculture, some farmer associations that uh, could, could, uh, could offer this, this type of service. There's, uh, yeah, there's many things uh, you could do using Rubismo. Okay, so um, what about the really remote areas? How do you bridge the gap to, to keep them informed and to keep them updated about the possibilities they have? Yeah, this is a very good question. And uh, even though the farmers, entrepreneurs were uh, one of the main target group of the, of the project, we also working a lot with intermediaries, advisors, um, and, and we have a, a scheme, a train the trainer scheme. And, and this is the point that I think we will have much more impact if we can train uh, one trainer that are, is used to, you know, uh, collaborate with entrepreneurs, farmers uh, all the time. And then they would use the, the material, the content for hopefully uh, quite a long time. And basically getting them to replicate or like to use the material we developed um, in their normal activity. Um, for you coming from Robismo, What do you think is, is, uh, are the vital ingredients for a long-term rural, rural vision? First, we need a good, uh, a good base, I would say. Um, maybe let's, let's use a, a pizza. We need, we need a good pizza base. And that's what we would call the business environment. So we need to have um, partners supporting um, businesses, but supporting you know, other, other actors as well. So that's anything with research, um, that is the right services, also basic services in rural areas. Otherwise, you, you won't get um, these uh, entrepreneurs to come. Access to, um, to knowledge should be there as well. And um, yeah, it's, uh, I think this may be a shift also in, in culture um, that Hopefully, I really hope that living in rural areas will be something seen as, as positive and not just uh, uh, that you, you got stuck there or you, know, you had no, no other choice. But um, I think once we get there, that people move to rural areas because they want to be there. I think that's when we would get you know, some positive uh, development of, uh, of the rural, yeah, rural areas. So regarding Robismo, um, I think it's also a very holistic approach because you have so many um, different tools and you have all this media, uh, the webinars, the cafe talks. Now you mentioned the, the virtual study visit, the cafe talk we had, and, and this is actually the result of the pandemic. By going online, we had, I think we had more than 500 uh, single participants and we had uh, five months of weekly meetings as well and weekly information. So the, the, the amount, the content, uh, it, we made it much more accessible. And then I think showing what's, what's already there, it, it's needed because there, there is already many innovative and 
um, environmental friendly and also uh, profitable businesses out there. Uh, so um, what is your vision of how the rural areas uh, will be in the future? Yeah, I think that the first thing is that they will be connected and they will be both connected to each other and to the urban centers. Um, and that will be both physically, but also digitally connected. I think they will be much more diverse. They will be like, I think, different type of people living there and, and different type of businesses and and different type of sectors as well. So more diverse. And this, I think, is also is because we want to have resilient rural areas. And um, we, we can reach this by um, more diversity. Perfect. So, Justin, thank you so much for your time. It was great talking to you and good luck for the final months of Re the Robismo project. Thank you, Corinna. Thank you for your time. Bye. <laughs>